Computer fan noise is about the most annoying thing possible when you're an audio producer or voiceover artist. So what do you do about it? Welcome to the Ultima Audio PC Build Series, where every week I'll take you through my journey to create the ultimate PC for audio production and a bit of video editing too. Now the first challenge is the annoying computer fan. Yeah, that's really annoying. And looking at it in Adobe Audition, then normalizing it, makes it even worse. So what do you do? Well, I've lived for a long time editing on a computer, an iMac that whirs up its fan every time I do th something intensive. That can be something as simple as recording voice into Adobe Audition, or something as complex as encoding video or mixing down inside Adobe Audition. Every time I do something intensive, CPU fan goes Vroom. So how to stop that? Well, obviously you can use sound dampening stuff, not so much on an iMac, because it's pre-built, but if you build your own case, you can put sound dampening materials around it, sure. That's one way, but the other way that I'm going to explore in this series is completely isolating my PC, getting it out of the room I'm working in. So no more fans when I'm recording, doing a podcast, or doing a live stream. How do I do that? Well, thankfully, we had a purpose-built place. Now, I know you don't always have that luxury, but if you can get a cupboard and drill a hole and run your cables through, that's a good enough solution. In this case, I have a shed that I'm putting the PC box in. It's gonna have all the cabling there. It's all there, ready to go. And I actually had it purpose-built into the room we're working for when we had this new studio built. You'll even be able to get a really good faceplate, and the one I recommend is made by a company called Lindy. It has pretty much everything I need to get back and forth between the room and the shed with everything I might want to do, from HDMI for displays, RGB for a secondary display, an audio jack, which is 3.5 millimeter for, you guessed it, audio, and there's even a USB, so I can run USB 3.0 to the computer and plug in something like a hub. So as you can see, isolating that computer fan is the first thing you want to do. And if you can't do it, drill a hole, soundproofing materials, whatever you can do to quieten it down. Join me for the second part of this series where I'll look at the best CPU for video editing and audio production. <laughs>